Um, I've noticed that a lot of people like to do intros, and um, the more I've thought about it, as a YouTuber, I don't like them, and so I'm just going to get right into it. We need to stop separating nature and technology. We need to stop creating this fictional war between the traditional-minded natural world and the forward-thinking and wasteful technological one. They are the same fucking world. I am tired of these people who are going to say over and over again until they're blue in the face that we need less reliance on technology while failing to realize that they're wearing shoes, they have vaccines, they have health insurance, they watch TV, they live in a fucking house, they have air conditioning, they read books, they play games. They wear fucking shoes! Dude, people don't seem to fucking realize that without nature, there is no technology. Technology is nature. Let me explain. Human beings came from nature. This is established. We are naturally occurring organisms. What do these naturally occurring organisms do? They tinker with nature. We are unique in that respect, and granted, the technology we use is far more robust and advanced than the technology that is typically used by other smart, sentient, or semi-sentient beings, like octopi and chimps and shit. Because, I mean, you know, it's, it's more advanced than a fucking rock tied to a stick. Without nature, without gold, without minerals, without iron, without paper, without well, trees, without, like, pulp, without fucking hemp, without... Jesus Christ, without fucking cotton, without all this shit, where are we? Technologically speaking, where the fuck have we gone? You take these things and you mold them to do things that human beings don't like doing, like dishwashing. And you, can't, and you say it isn't nature. You create these amazing tools. You create these superbly advanced ideas. And then you say it's not natural. In order for us, as a species to survive. We need to understand that there is a synergy, there is a correlation between what is nature and what is advanced technology. Technology emboldens us as a species to go farther, to see farther, to be ahead. People need to stop making this distinction, this very, very annoying distinction between nature and technology. Sure, a TV isn't a tree. It doesn't naturally occur. But it does, because we naturally occur and we made them, right? I know it's kind of, you know, by the transitive property, it's natural kind of shit, kind of logic. But think about it. Without us, without nature, you wouldn't have a fucking Xbox. You wouldn't have a fucking TV. You wouldn't have a fucking phone or a computer or YouTube or the Internet. You wouldn't be able to smoke weed out of that fucking awesome zong that has three percolators and an ice catcher. You wouldn't be able to fucking wipe your ass with toilet paper. You wouldn't be able to bang on some bongo drums that you got at a fucking pawn shop. Nature planted the seeds for those things to happen. Earth's history has culminated to the point where we are today and tomorrow and the next day, whenever you're watching this, for those things to happen. To think of technology as separate from nature diminishes the potential of not only you, but technology. Because here's the thing, as a, as a country, we are very traditional, we are very conservative. And I don't mean conservative as like socially conservative or whatever, like a political term. I mean it as in we are afraid to take risks. We are afraid of changing our mindset towards something. Technology is here to help you. Sure, people abuse it, you know, take too many selfies, post too many, you know, pictures on Facebook, you know, waste your time masturbating on YouPorn, but they want to do it. It's not necessarily the technology's fault that they want to do it. It's, it's an avenue, it sure doesn't really help the situation that it's there for them to take advantage of, but if YouPorn isn't there, something else will take its place. It's what humanity likes. Anytime something new comes about and it's, it's fresh thinking, it doesn't really approach the world in a typical or traditional way, historically speaking, the established members of society, i.e. 
everyone who isn't young or agrees with the ideals of the young, always feel like it's threatening society at large. And you can kind of extrapolate on this because it's different. You know, it, it's, it's something that is not what I'm used to. I've lived for 50 years, and I, this shit wasn't around when I was little, and you're using it a lot, and I don't understand it, so it's fucking bad. Technology is bad. I run into this, I, I don't know if you guys run into this, but I run into this on a day-to-day, -day, and it's frustrating for me. Because, you, you're, you're wear, again, you're wearing shoes! You have vaccines! You make this point clear to them, and then they're just like, well, yeah, I mean, why wouldn't I get a vaccine? I mean, it's, it's good for you. Yeah, but it's technology. So you can't say all technology is bad. You can't say it's separate from nature. We're literally taking nature and molding it to do what we want. If that's not the most empowering fucking thing, what is? God? Religion? I'm, I'm curious. What, um, what bit of technology was used to write down these ideas? For, you know, for religion and shit. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, what about um, the, the proliferation of this information? How did it get spread around so f Oh, yeah, Gutenberg's Press. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it didn't just come about on its own, you know. The, the advent of technology and modern technology, especially with the internet, has spread these ideas far and wide. What started as a small little Jewish cult in the middle of the Roman Empire of all places can be found in Antarctica, can be found at the North Pole. It can be found in the New World, who they had no idea existed. Stop making this separation between nature and technology. Honestly, it's just our modification of nature, is all technology really is. Houses are nature. Desks are nature. Sure, they don't form naturally from nature, but they do form from the mind of a human, which did form naturally. I really feel that it's important to make this kind of point because people like to demonize technology. They, they like to demonize new ideas. And to the person that happens to be listening to this and is on the edge about the issue, I say, fuck nature versus technology. It's a dumb argument. Instead, have technology with nature. Proliferate ideas like biotechnology. Push medicine forward. Just think ahead. Stop relying on the past. If, if, you, if you honestly think that the past is amazing, Figure out how to get over that because we're here now in this world, the world of technology, the world where technology does take precedence. Fuck your pet peeves with technology. Fuck your hesitation with technology. Respect technology and utilize it to empower yourself. Make the connection between nature and technology. Make the connection between humanity and nature. And you will see that it's all one huge correlation. If humanity ever falls and all of our technology is lost and this video is never seen and this YouTube site is never seen again and humanity in some small fraction survives this breakdown, I wouldn't even doubt for a second that technology would rise again. And with the wisdom of hitting bottom as a species, I'm sure it would be done more economically without as much waste. I guess uh, that ends my little rant. Um, apologies for not making a video for a while. Shit to do. Shit to do. I, I, I really, I have no excuse. Who, who fucking cares at this point? Um, Thank you for watching, nonetheless. Um, my name is Axel, and of course, if you like, like. If you dislike, dislike. If you want to subscribe, by all means, do so, and uh, leave a comment if you have anything to say. Peace.